So you're curious about the Gallatin area of Nashville? In this video, I've got Tucker with me and we're gonna discuss what is up with Gallatin. It all starts right now. If it's your first time to the channel, I wanna say thanks for stopping by Where to Live Nashville. It's all about bringing you the Nashville area neighborhoods and surrounding cities of Nashville. If this kind of information is interesting to you, please subscribe and come follow along with us as we go exploring together. And don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell for notifications. So you can be the first to know about our market here in Nashville. My name is Clay with the Kelton Group. The team and I, we get contacted every single day from people just like you, 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 and you about moving to Nashville. And we love it. We are a real estate team. So we help buyers and sellers every single day. So you can drop us a line, send us a comment, uh, send us a text. Let us know what you're curious about. Remember, our goal is no matter if you're moving in nine days or 90 days or nine months to help you make the right move. So with that, let's jump right into the video. I've got my buddy Tucker with me today. Tucker, how we doing? Why you doing great? I love it. All right, Gallatin is on my mind. Let's talk a little bit about Gallatin. Let's just start with uh, where is Gallatin and, and what is Gallatin like? Absolutely. So Gallatin's about 30 miles north of Nashville. It's right off Vietnam Vets Boulevard and just north of Hendersonville, Tennessee. Gallatin is the county seat of Sumner County. Population is right around 45,000 and it, it just continues to grow just like a lot of our surrounding communities. Yeah, so what's causing people to move to Gallatin, do you think? I think it's three things. I think first thing is cost of living. It's very affordable. Uh, when a lot of the home builders really came in, the land was very affordable. You had a lot of farmland up there. And so you had a lot of master plan communities. So we'll get into that in a little bit, but uh, that's one of them. Uh, the other thing is just job growth. When you look at Gallatin, you've got Facebook, you have Gap, and Gap has a two and a half million square foot distribution center up there. It's the corporate headquarters of ServPro, and you know ServPro if your house is ever flooded. Uh, that's that's who you call, and they're, they're nationwide, and they do a lot of work along with the Gulf Coast. But those are really the two things. And then the third is actually the school system. Now, I recommend going to greatschools.org to learn more, but you keep hearing people going, this is this is why we're moving here is because of the school system. There's also a magnet school. There's also a community college up there that a lot of people forget about, which is Volunteer State Community College. Lots right there. Yeah, is, is there some like notable neighborhoods in Gallatin that people as a starting point should, should probably know about? Yes, and there's actually two of them that I'd like to talk about. So in that 500,000, 550 range, I look at Carrollton and that's with two L's, but large development you'll find out that great clubhouse fitness center pool they really made these really nice when you go up there i would take a look at that if that's your price point if you're looking for something at a different price point say a million to two and a half million i'd look at fairview plantation gated community prices are right around 280 a foot um, average house size is about 3600 square feet also the neat thing about Gallatin is it sits right along Old Hickory Lake. So a lot of Fairview Plantation is lakefront property and you can have a dock and you can have a boat. And so I would remember that. Yeah, absolutely. Fairview Plantation is kind of the best thing going out that direction. And for anybody that wants newer construction, wants to be either on the lake or have lake views, but also golf course community, in that master plan, like well thought out feel, certainly Fairview Plantation be on the list. It's hard. It's hard to get that whole package: lake, golf, new construction. You know, around Nashville. So, if the lake especially is interesting, then Fairview Plantation certainly would be on our list. I think. So also with that, so when you do look at Gallatin, a lot of people that do move to Gallatin from out of state, they typically have an outdoor lifestyle. So they like parks, greenways, lakefront. They, they're always trying to incorporate that into where they live. Gallatin has been around for a little while, but it, the way it's grown, it's really grown south. And you do have a lot of these newer communities. So you get all the amenities that you would want in a home just at a wonderful price point. Yeah, good point. Uh, what else is there to do in Gallatin if people are curious about that? So it's still a growing community. There is a downtown square. 
there are places to eat. Do I wish that there were more local feel restaurants? Yes. Is there a nightlife? No, you're going to need to go into Nashville for all that stuff. But it is if you're just trying to either raise a family or be in an area that is considered low crime, this is an area that I would take a look at. Yeah, that's great. And then what are the biggest issues you think people should consider if moving to Gallatin? I mean, you kind of touched on a little bit already, but anything else come to mind? I think uh, usually what people struggle with is depending on where you work. So if you're commuting into Nashville, just know that the traffic coming into Nashville is, is going to be pretty heavy. But outside of morning traffic and afternoon traffic, you can really get around the city. And so you will appreciate that. Uh, if you're trying to work in Cool Springs and you watch some of our Cool Springs videos, just know that that's going to be a pretty long commute. You're going to be 45 minutes, maybe an hour, and I'd take that into consideration. Yeah, it's a pretty long distance to get to Cool Springs. If somebody's considering looking at Gallatin, what other areas around Middle Tennessee do you think should be on the list as well? Yes. So our, our last few clients that relocated to Nashville, we had one that came from the north and then we have one that's coming from D.C. Both are interested in Gallatin. And what we do is we there's kind of three areas we look at. We look at Gallatin and just south of Gallatin is Hendersonville. Bigger area, more shopping, more retail, all the things that you can think of. Uh, also is the lake community. So that's something to consider. And then also White House. Now, White House is closer to I-65. It's a whole lot smaller. So if you want something a little bit more rural, uh, a little bit more affordable, I would definitely consider White House. Just know in five years, uh, that city is going to be a whole lot different. Yeah, it's in growth mode for sure. So yeah, I think you know that like there's Gallatin, Hendersonville, they're both along the lake. I think I would probably, I mean, I maybe even throw Mount Julian into the mix. It's going to be the south side of the lake. It does have some lake property and it's kind of, you know, east, kind of out east of Nashville, out past the airport. So kind of has a similar feel to some of those areas of Hendersonville to me and Gallatin. Any other final thoughts about Gallatin? I, no, I, I did want to tack on to what you said about Mount Juliet. So Mount Juliet is on I-40, just not too far from the Nashville International Airport. So if, if you're considering moving here and you're going to be on an airplane quite a bit, I would look at Mount Juliet first, just because of, of the commute. Plus you're coming in from the better side of the airport, which is easier to access than the Nashville side. That's what I'd say about that. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Well, Gallatin is certainly a place, depending on your price range, that it might make sense. So if you're looking to move to Middle Tennessee, don't forget Gallatin. If you're familiar with Gallatin, let us know what you think about it. Just leave a comment. Again, we're uh, real estate agents here to help people relocate to Nashville and explore neighborhoods together. So let us know what else you're interested in, please. And remember, if you're moving in nine days or 90 days or nine months, we want to help you connect all the dots so you can make the right move. Until next time, we hope to show you around town.